Want to learn how to create the best Instagram bio? Stick around because I'm going to show you my five easy steps. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm your host, Jen Rilla, and this channel is for online business owners, coaches, and influencers. Today's topic is all about how to create the perfect Instagram bio. I'm going to walk you through my five easy steps for creating the perfect Instagram bio. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're excited to learn what it takes to create the perfect Instagram bio. I also want to mention why this is important to actually do. As you can see on my Instagram, right, the bio section, this part that I'm talking about here, right, is the most important for two very specific reasons. One, a very good first impression, and two, for SEO. Now, when I say first impression, what I'm talking about is when people first land on your page, they wanna know exactly what they're getting right away. So you wanna make sure that the bio is exactly what your ideal client needs to see in order to follow you, right? And the other reason I say it's SEO is because it's searchable and I'll get into that in a second, right? So you wanna make sure that you stick around to the very end because I have a little bonus detail that you do not wanna miss and it's a really cool tip. Okay, so let's get into it. So you wanna remember that the entire bio section is searchable, but the most picked up searchable section is the name. So you wanna make sure that you include your name and what you do in your industry. So whether you're an expert at something, so maybe it's a marketing expert or an online business coach, or in my case, I have online business mentor. Take advantage of the fact that that is the most picked up SEO section of the bio. Number two is your niche statement. In this section, you wanna make sure that you're telling people exactly what they're going to get from landing on your feed. So yes, when the people look at your Instagram, they can look at your aesthetics and they obviously know what they're going to get. When they look at the bio, they know exactly what they're going to get. I talk a lot about this in this video here and you can check that out for more details, but you wanna make sure that you answer the question, I help people blank and then also give the results. You wanna get down to the point. You don't wanna use these elaborate words or go crazy or anything like that. You have to remember that a lot of people aren't in your industry and don't really know exactly what you're talking about. So try not to use fancy words and just get straight to the point and make it as niche down as possible. Number three is either the press credibility or fun fact. Now, if you don't have any press like I do here where I've added my Forbes, Oprah, and CNBC section, you can add a fun fact like I'm a mac and cheese fan. Another good idea is if you have a substantial amount of sales in your business and you wanna share that number, you can go ahead and include it there too. Another thing that I also recommend for my clients is using that space when they're done writing their niche statement is using that space to write what kind of content topics are included in your business, right? So maybe it's marketing, social media tips, and maybe it's entrepreneurships. That's a great place to add it in that section. Number four is the call to action. This is where you add the links, the resources for people to be able to find you and work with you. You wanna make sure that in this section, you always add the call to action, whether it's a freebie or signing up for a mastermind or downloading a PDF or your free ebook, whatever. You wanna make sure that you add and point to that direction so that people know exactly what they're going to get. If you've stuck around and you made it to this far, congratulations. I want to talk to you about the bonus. Yay! <laughs> this is a little fun fact that I tell all of my clients. So there are certain companies that you can utilize to create that link below in that bio section, right? Like Linktree and there are countless other ones, but I don't recommend that simply because a lot of these links don't work most of the time because Instagram calls them out of spam. So sometimes they won't even work. And when people are trying to find you or work with you, those links don't work. So it's kind of like, a oh, no, right? We don't want that to happen. So what I highly recommend people is to create an additional secret website to their page and add their own links. And then you can get creative. Look at mine, for example, when you click on the bio and then you go to the page, that's actually my website. <laughs> and it's a secret page. The reason why I think this is extremely important, I highly recommend this, is because it not only drives traffic to your website, which raises the rank on your SEO and Google, but it also gets people to your website, leaves them there, and then lets them dance around other pages of your website without actually knowing they're there. When I tell you this is a nice SEO tip, you wanna add that, do it. Another thing I wanna mention is that in the bio section, there's stories, right? And stories are super valuable. I am such a fan of stories. So I'm actually going to create a completely different video next week about stories. And I'm gonna talk about the best practices for creating the best stories to get good call to action, to tell people exactly who you are and what you do and what you're offering them. So in order for you to watch that, you're gonna have to subscribe and you're gonna have to hit that bell. I have tons of videos for you to watch in the meantime, but until then, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I love you and I hope you have a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Until next time, bye guys.
want to learn to create content creators blah, 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 blah. let's do that again why this is really important to do oh i have to do the bio again oh my god i'm sweating 